Hi guys, time for another paper aeroplane. This one is the Flaming Sword Interceptor from The Complete Book of Paper Aeroplanes by David Woodruff. Okay, this one looks uh, fairly straightforward. So, start off, fold it in, oh, fold it this way. Right, okay. Nearly went wrong right at the beginning. Just move that over a little bit. Okay, so we did that. Open it up again, then fold into the center. Right, done that. Then fold up from there up to there. There must be a technique for getting these folds just right that I don't have. <laughs> oh, bless you, Nanny. You heard her sneeze. If you didn't hear her sneeze, you've no idea what I'm talking about. Okay, now fold over this one. Ah, need a measurement for that, I think. Let me measure and stick. Three and a half centimeters on there. On that diagram, if I convert it to the A4 piece of paper I'm using, each centimetre is the same as half an inch. So it'll be three half inches, so one and a half inches, plus another half of one, which would be a quarter of an inch. So one and three quarter inches. We need yeah those measurements one and three quarters one and three quarters draw the line across that's our fold line. And, as I try to remember to tell you each time, this book I bought in a charity shop for only £1.25. And it's arranged so the instructions are on the left side and you're supposed to tear this page out on the right hand side and fold it up. But if you do that, then you lose the instructions for the next one. So you either start from the back and work forwards or you photocopy each page and print it or you do what I'm doing which is follow the diagram but use a piece of A4 paper anyway so we've done that fold next those corners come in Check where they come in to. Come in to about. There. Got a lot of folds there at the moment. Let me do another fold. I think is just supposed to go down to 
where? That's all a bit thick. When they're thick like that, they don't fold very neatly. Once you get over a couple of folds, it all gets a bit thick. But that is the point. They want all the weight at the front of the aeroplane to balance it. But that has made it all a bit, yeah, a bit thick. So we've done that. Now, oh, we've got a couple of folds. Which way do they want it? That way. No. that way. And we need down there. Probably should have measured it. I'm gonna go for it this time. ones sort of fold off that way a bit I'm sure I've got that the right way up but that looks a little bit upside down to me that's what it appears to be I don't know whether I'm supposed to fold them or not. That's a little confusing. I think I was, but and I'm not sure whether that's the right way up. I did do it as per the coloured side is the painted side, and I'm using that as the printed side. So I think I've got it right. And it does say use a bit of tape to stick it together at the front. Masking tape now, I wonder if that'll do. Except it's rubbish masking tape, it's ripping the wrong way. I usually glue them. Okay, well, we'll give it a try. really not sure about those last folds. I've just turned it inside out so I've got the picture or the writing on the outside just to see if that makes a difference. <laughs> Summary time Flaming Sword Interceptor. Yeah, I'm afraid it's another one I don't like. It does fly. But, yeah, I just don't like it. And I'm sure that somehow or other in the sequence, I, um, I got the sequence of folds wrong. I'm sure I didn't. But this last little bit down here shows the wings just a straight dihedral. 
and yet there it appears to show them folded off. That may just be a trick of the um, diagram. It may just be those lines are supposed to be straight like that. But in that picture it definitely looks like they're folded down. And that confused me. I've tried it folding down and it's totally unstable. So if I give it a bit of extra dihedral it actually goes better. But flat, it's okay. That's my opinion, my personal opinion. Thanks for watching. You'll find more information down in the video description. You might like to watch that video up there. And you might like to subscribe over there.